And welcome back to another edition of Out and About. We are back at the Tennessee Aquarium. They are celebrating their 30th anniversary this year, and they've got a lot of really cool stuff going on. And we're going to be joined once again by our good friend Tom Benson, because we want to talk about something that you may not think about when you think about the aquarium, which is art, specifically weight washed ashore, correct? That's right. This is a temporary exhibition of art that literally washed ashore. Uh, the Wash Ashore organization is a nonprofit that started with one artist who was a beachcomber, and she started seeing this debris that was washing up on shore, and she began collecting it. And she thought, wouldn't that be great if we organized some beach cleanups? And then once they started collecting all this plastic in particular, uh, as an artist, she thought, well, let's make something out of this. And that's where Wash Ashore began about 12 years ago. Since then, the organization has collected more than 35 tons of plastic from the ocean that's washed ashore on a small stretch of beach on the Oregon coastline. And that's where all these sculptures come from. This is a traveling exhibition. There are several uh, works of art at other institutions right now. And they have about three different shows that are across the country right now. We're very fortunate to have one here in Chattanooga. So this piece that we're looking at here, it's obviously a river otter, which we know a little bit about here at the yeah. aquarium because of the otter exhibit. And I mean, I'm looking at this thing and I'm kind of like looking and I'm seeing like the bottoms of shoes. And I don't even know what most of this stuff is. And you, you said this is all just washed up on shore. That's right. All the plastic um, actually washes up on the beaches in Oregon. And they sanitize it. They sort it by size and color. And then the artists begin designing uh, works of art. So if you look very closely at this, it uh, you know has the flowing water. Again, like you said, there's different items that you can easily identify. And that's one of the things that guests do. They come up and they look at these works and they go, wow, that's really cool. Beautiful river otter, beautiful scenery. And then, oh my gosh, that's a shoe sole or a lighter or all these things that are in our lives that somehow made it from the land into the ocean and then back to the land. Okay, now we've been looking at the River Otter, but there's a lot more pieces in the Wash to Shore exhibition. But what I wanted to focus on here was this piece behind me was done by the staff of the aquarium? That's right. This is what we call Trashy Trout. And um, we all got inspired by Wash to Shore as we knew that we were going to be bringing this exhibition to Chattanooga. And so what we wanted to do was have a gift to the aquarium for the 30th anniversary from the team members here uh, in 2022. And so everybody had uh, collected plastic from home and then stuck it on this uh, piece of art here. So it's different than the wash to shore. This wasn't something that we went out and collected from nature because we really didn't have the time to uh, collect it, sort it by color and size and disinfect it. So we just took all of our household plastics that uh, were in our homes and brought it in. And so we did kind of plastic by numbers or paint by numbers. Uh, we <laughs> sketched out a southern Appalachian brook trout. This is a species uh, that's native to Tennessee. It's Tennessee's only native trout species. And it's also a trout that we're helping to conserve in the wild. Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute has been raising Southern Appalachian Brook Trout for release uh, in partnership with Trout Unlimited, TWRA, and the U.S. Forest Service. So it's a conservation message. This is going to have a, a permanent home in the aquarium as part of our exhibition next year. Uh, for now, it's got a temporary home here in the lobby of the River Journey building. It's, it's really quite amazing when I look back at here, and this is all household waste that has been color coordinated and I, I guess you would call it waste by numbers. It's, it's really quite amazing. Uh, and you say it's gonna be on permanent exhibit. How long is Wash to Shore gonna be here at the aquarium? Wash to Shore will be here through October 30th. So there's still plenty of time to come see the exhibit. It's located in both aquarium buildings and we have a few pieces over the IMAX theater. And again, all of these pieces really tell a separate story. Uh, about plastic that's been in our lives and then passed through our hands and ended up in the environment and back on shore. So we've got some great sponsors like the Tennessee Department of Transportation, their Nobody Trashes Tennessee mm -hmm. campaign, because roadside litter is such a huge problem in Tennessee. It's been getting better over time, but still there's millions of pieces of roadside litter that have the ability to wash off of our roadways, end up in a ditch, a stream, and then the Tennessee River, and eventually the Gulf of Mexico and the ocean. So there is a, you know, a direct correlation between the plastic that we have in our hands that passes through our hands sometimes 
like a single-use drinking bottle in a very short amount of time, but that plastic can live on for a very, very long time if it's not recycled or disposed of properly. And as you know, plastic doesn't break down, it breaks up into tinier and tinier fragments called microplastics. And one of the challenges we have is a lot of microplastics in the Tennessee River, and we don't know the full problem, you know, what, what's the extent of the problem? Uh, is it getting into fish? Is it a problem for human health at this point? And what kinds of chemicals or uh, other pollutants are attaching to those microplastics as they're being ingested by fish and other aquatic animals? Well, we're gonna do a kind of a brief montage of some of the pieces that are part of the exhibit. But if you wanna learn more, just head over to tnaqua.org, that's .org, and come on down. Uh, there are pieces in River Journey, Ocean's Journey, and as Tom mentioned, over in the IMAX 3D theater. So it's a very interesting exhibit and I hope you enjoy this little musical montage.